What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into first, the first video we're going to get into is Curtis. He finally saying something about what happened with this whole Natalie situation. He about four months late, but let's get into it. What's good, y'all? You see who it is? I know I've been quiet for a while, but all that shit is done, though. And it's time for me to say what the fuck I want. So this is my YouTube channel right here. Usually I just be posting my rapping and my music, but I'm about to start talking my shit on here too. Y'all gonna get in tune with the lifestyle and all the shit we got going on. So make sure y'all subscribe, hit that like button. So listen, y'all, about a month ago, a nigga went viral. You might have seen me in a few blogs like this right here on the screen that you see. <laughs> These are blogs that was talking about me. So He's so late. I hate when people be so late. I know y'all been waiting for me to talk about this situation with me. Hold on, let me, I need to get a drink. I didn't know her. Her name is Natalie. She's crazy. Y'all heard her side of the story. She went live and talked about me for like an hour. Let's just all be real. She was going off that day. Everybody night. already knew. <laughs> Curtis was around. Hasn't been around for a while, okay? Hasn't been around. As a matter of fact, I really don't want to say too many bad things about Curtis because that's just not in my spirit. Continues to you say bad things. You were a thing for a little while while I was on a break with my husband. This is what clout chasing on a hundred looks like. Nobody cares. Your rap game ain't gonna do shit. Damn. You ain't shit. Damn. You don't got shit. Damn. The only thing you had was Natalie. And when I cut you the fuck off, now you wanna give me money, to buy me a Rolex, do this, this. Nigga, fuck you, ass nigga. Go run and tell whatever the fuck you wanna tell. That's all a lie, and I wanna clear that shit up right now. You know, Natalie brought gifts for me. I brought gifts for her. The energy was reciprocal. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a one-way thing. I wasn't just taking from her all the time. The whole extortion thing was some Now that I cleared that up, let me get into the Roly situation. You know what I'm saying? She was on live talking about this damn watch. The reason why I was upset... That nigga said he just cleared it up and he just went straight to the next subject. And I sent the message and I said, yo, send me that watch was because I don't believe in Indian giving. You shouldn't get somebody a gift and then take it back when y'all two break up or y'all not talking to each other no more. So that was the reason why I was upset and I said that on text message. But I never extorted Natalie and she know that. I've never been the type of guy to like extort somebody or make somebody feel like I'm trying to tell the world about our situation. I'm, to be honest, I'm really not proud of it because I know Natalie's situation. We was with each other for two years. So Damn. you mean to tell me you was on a break for two years? <laughs> You was on a break with your husband for two years. That just don't add up. You feel me? The math ain't math. Everybody else spoke about our relationship. You feel me? Two years is crazy. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. We was for two years and I never spoke about this shit. Y'all just found out about this shit right now. Y'all found out last month. Yeah, I got to talk about the bad boy shit because that's, that's, that's why I met her. It's, it's not like you did some gay shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting attention since I was young, you know what I'm saying? Everybody always just thought I was the coolest nigga in the room, so I don't care about the attention. That's the same way when I was on the show, I was the coolest nigga on the show. And that's the reason why Natalie was attracted to me. That's why she was on my body the way she was. Dang. And that's why she was ready to risk it all. Dang. They, they had me on the show, I did great on the show and everything. But once me and Natalie started our relationship, I went from being one of the most favorite to being one of the most hated. Somebody over there at the network was jealous and they didn't really want me to come around. Now that I cleared all that shit up, the, let's segue into this. The right? CEO. <laughs> and it's funny. The CEO of it. Because <laughs> it's funny because she said the rap stuff and all the music and all that wasn't going to work. But it's crazy because if you go look right now and you see what I got going on, I, I got everything lit right now. They playing my music. All the DJs is playing my music. I'm hitting all the clubs right now and I'm just starting to get things booming right now. Oh, yeah. I know y'all miss this face on y'all screen too. Don't worry. Y'all going to see me. It ain't done. You know the vibe. Curtis going. Let's get it. Damn, he made that quick. A four-year um, scandal? Oh, excuse me, four. A two-year scandal is crazy. Baby, she had a time, okay? And she out here trying to act like she wasn't having a time. Now, that's the cap of the whole situation. Um, I want to put in this video that... And I know that this is random, but I gotta throw it. I gotta throw it in here for algorithm purposes. Uh, Miss Carlissa is going back and forth with her daughter because 
her daughter basically promoted Roly Show, girl. She said, how you posting the Roly Show and not your own mama show? Please tell her how she got where she at because clearly she forgot. Um, I can't make this ish up. Y'all, how many times have y'all seen me post her? She also uh, continued to say that she understand where Blueface is coming from now because, you know, Blueface felt the same way. Like, not that y'all posting, wasn't posting him or whatever, but basically they do anything for clout, okay? So that's what, you know, that's what Carlos is feeling like currently. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. So also, um, Lemmy gifted Natalie with gifts last night. Let me see. I don't know if it's music or not. Kinda, we did get some fights in Barbados. Um, I swear I got it. Should I pick you up and put everybody's head? <laughs> How you doing? Congratulations. No, what you looking at? I think you have to put everybody in the house. She'd not be picking Lemmy up. So Lemmy be gifting the women of the industry or whatever. Or oh, excuse me, of his industry. Um, he is the P. Diddy of Zeus. And Natalie apparently felt some type of way. Should I pick you up and put everybody she said, my brother, my friend, my partner, my family, I can truly call you this because of everything that you have allowed me to do on your company. And you continue to let me rock year after year. Thank you. Season five of Jocelyn Cabaret. Cabaret. Another one. Thanks to you, Lemmy. Also, Lemmy, you and the Zeus Network are always so thoughtful when it comes to me. Thank you. I love you guys. And <sighs> thank you for allowing me to keep giving the people a great show season after season right so after this happened natalie just so happened to post at the same time and she said that she runs la and she said something major is coming coming she's excited to announce very soon and she said playing in my face is the last thing anyone wants to do uh to me so everybody assumed that she was speaking about lemmy because she was jealous about the gifts girl and she cleared it up on the in the comments and said, you guys always think something is about someone else. Anyway, stay tuned. No one cares about someone getting gifts. I buy new handbags every day, all day. Please stop assuming I care about a little small purse. Y'all really be funny. New show alert. Stay tuned. So that's what she had to say. But on her story, she also said, because... Um, Roly, I think Roly said that she hasn't gotten a gift yet. And I'm going to see if I can find that right now. But Roly basically said that she didn't get a gift. And I completely understand that this is petty, but I'm, this is what they be doing. Okay. Um, so she was basically complaining about the fact that she didn't get a gift. And if in fact she, she was serious, Roly, this your first season of your first uh, show but not only that, you're not going to be tr transforming Roly for seasons. You know what I'm saying? Well, maybe. She could. She could. Depending on how the ratings do. But, girl, your gift coming. Hell, I feel like her gift is losing a body. All right? Gaining teeth. I feel like that's a good gift. Okay? That's something she needed. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all want to watch uh, Transformer Roly, I do have it on my Patreon. Link will be in the pinned comment. And that's all I got. Let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.